Good morning. I'm Jesus Christ. I just want to stop in real quick and, and, and I want to lift up all the victims of the September 11th attack. You know, the people that died that are in heaven. I want to lift up their prayers and their eternity and their return to earth if they come back, and I believe they will. I want to lift up all the people that are still here that are left injured and hurt, that are broken. I lift up their prayers and their healing of their heart and their spirit. I pray peace upon them. You answer prayers and build dreams. And let something beautiful happen still. Come out of the ashes somehow. Let the, let the people that are in heaven that died talk. Talk to the people that are left behind. The people that are ready or able to receive it. And just heal the, all the victims. And, and, and the hearts and the PTSD and the souls and the cities. And please, Father God, never let that anything, some kind of terror attack happen like that again. I ask in Jesus Christ's name, you send the angels among the people that are, that, that are left behind, that are here, that have been hurt, that need a prayer, and, 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 and you know, of course, help people become Christian. This is not about that. It's just, I want, I'm Christian. I want to pray for people. Just show, show your angels today in the city, in, in New York, and uh, and show your angels around the, to the people that, that, that lost someone. Let them actually physically see the angels. If, if they've never been someone that saw angels before and knew what they were, let them see the angels today. <clears throat> angels always bring me comfort when I see them. I literally see them with my eyes. They always bring me comfort. Sometimes it's even more comforting than God's voice. The angels don't say anything, but they show themselves. They, they, sometimes they say a little bit, but most of the time you just see them. I pray peace upon the people of September 11th, the, the, the injured, the people that died. There's, there, there's, there's a man up there that, that's just watching someone that is reliving that, that re reliving what happened. I think it's a boy that he's watching and he's maybe older now. The boy has just relived this over and over again. I pray for his healing. And there's another man that's silent. He died. He's a fireman. He's got his arms crossed. He's pissed. He's pissed about something. He's pissed. But I just pray their, their prayers are answered. And that, that boy, who I think has grown now, the boy that's reliving this over and over, that he's healed. And take care of your children, Father God. And I, when I mean children, I mean children of God. The souls, the hearts of, of your children. It could be a young, young little baby to, to not, you know, 120, 130 year old man or woman. I pray peace upon all, all, all the people that have been hurt and injured. And that this never happens again, Father God. And I also pray... That you restore peace to Russia and Ukraine so the human race is not annihilated. And I want to lift up all the firemen's prayers that are out there today. That are still that are still alive, that still do their jobs, that they're safe, protected. They return home to their families, that they're loved and blessed. And you take care of them. And if they have emotional issues, you heal them. If they have dishonesty, you heal them. If they have identity, homosexuality issues, you heal them. You know, that you heal their families and you bless them with beautiful wives and husbands and uh I, just, I, I say amen to their prayers in Jesus Christ's name and just heal the people. Heal the people that, that are injured by 9-11 and, and, and bless and heal the people that are still here today that are, that, are, that are fighting the good fight and doing the right thing and help them have a Christian faith. If they don't have a Christian faith yet, help them get there. But speak your spirit to them. Send the Holy Ghost. And I pray peace upon them and I give them my spirit. We're loved. Thank you for your service. Both the people that, that died that are still up there and the people that are doing it today that, that still put themselves at risk. You guys are truly heroes. I'm sure a lot of the time you go pretty un unappreciated. And you're human, so you have problems and emotions and and things that, that, that suck in your life too that really torture you and just that you can't get right and things you can't fix and things that just hurt you for no reason. Great peace upon you. Amen. Have a great day.